Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to share with you 12 outlook tricks that I personally use on a daily basis. These aren't just a run on a mile tips. These are tried, tested and have a genuine transformed the way I manage my emails. Whether you are a seasonal Outlook user or just started out, I guarantee there will be something in here for you. So grab a notepad, sit back and let's dive right into these game changing tips. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button and turn on the notification so you never miss another update from me. Let's get started. So tip number one, how to add signature in a quick access toolbar. As you all know, quick access toolbar is the area where you can access it quickly and easily, even if you are working on any kind of window. So here, there are two options here. First, click on the new mail. You will see your signature in the include section. Simply click mouse right button and you will see a few options here. Select the first one, add to quick access toolbar. That way you will see your signature is added in the quick access toolbar. This is the first method. And the second method is simply click on this expander. Go to the move commands. Here, popular commands. You have to change it to the all commands. That will give you the entire options in the list. Scroll down and grab the series of S. So here is my S series and my signature is here, something here. See here, select this, hit add, click OK. That way also your signature is added in the quick access toolbar. Tip number two, how does Outlook show reminder on top of other windows? So whenever you receive a reminder and even you are working on some other windows, how you can set up the changes that your Outlook will show that reminder on the top of other windows. So simply click on the file tab, click on the options from the left navigation options here, click on advanced. Now here from the right, you will see a section which is reminders. There is an option show reminder on top of other windows. In my case, I have already enabled it. If in your case it is not enabled, simply hit on the checkbox, enable it and simply hit OK. And from now onwards, whenever you get a reminder of your task or any other thing and you are working on some other windows, you will get the reminder on the top. Tip number three, how to group emails by subject in Outlook. There are three ways to do it. First is just above your list. There is an option by date. All the emails are arranged by date. Simply click on this drop down. You will see arrange by the option is subject when you click on it all your emails are arranged by the subject the second option is you will have to click on the view tab there is an option arrange by in the arrangement section again click on that you will see an option which is subject click on it again all your emails are arranged in the subject the third and the very interesting option is you have to again click on the view tab in the view settings, the gear symbol, you will have to click on it. Advanced view setting dialog box appears. There is an option group by, click on it. Automatically group according to arrangements. This is already selected, you have to uncheck it. That will allow you to manually group items. The first option is group items by, click on the drop down. You will see subject here. Arrange the email on the ascending or descending order, click OK. Again, click OK. All your arrange are grouped by subject. Tip number four, how to quickly add new contact from email received in your inbox. For instance, when you receive an email from your new contact, the email address is not saved in your contact list. You can very easily add contact in your address book. Simply click right mouse button. Simply select the email, double click on it. 
that will open in a separate window. Now this is the email I want to save in my address book. Simply hover your mouse on the email address that will open a detailed window here and you will see a horizontal ellipsis. Simply click on it. You will see three options here. The first one is add to Outlook contacts. That what we are looking for. Simply click on it and you are redirected to the new contact form. The contact name is already filled. The email address is also pre-filled. Now you have to add some additional information here to complete the contact form and simply hit save and close. That way you can very easily create a new contact from the email received in your inbox. Tip number five, my received date column is missing in my inbox. So how to get it back? So first of all, to make it clear, I will click on the view tab in the layout section reading pan click on this select off that will change the interface and i can clearly check out the date is really missing so to get it back what i have to do is to simply click right mouse button from the column header you will see an option which is field chooser click on it it will open a small dialog box with the field chooser options here there is an option receive click your mouse left button hold it drag it to the location where you want to set your receive date like this drop it and in a second you will see your receive date is back there is another option click on view tab there is an option add columns in the arrangement section click on it and you will see the left and the right section left are the headers options here for you and these are the options which are already available currently so if you can see the date or receive is not available here so from the left area you have to simply select the received click on add and the receive is added here you can change the location by dragging it according to your requirement here and simply hit ok and you will see my date is added in the folder Tip number six, have you encountered with the problem that your navigation pan as well as your reading pan is missing? Navigation pan consists of all the email addresses. In case you want to switch to the folder or you want to switch to the email, you need this navigation folder. And the reading pan, when you click on the email, that will slightly open your email in the reading pan and you can check out the email description on the reading pan. So to get it back, you have to simply click on the view tab in the layout section there is an option folder pan click on it you have few options here click on normal your navigation pan is back and for the reading pan again click on the view tab on the layout section there is an option reading pan click on it and there is an option right bottom and off you have to simply click on right and your reading pan is back again. Now, whenever you click an email, your email will be slightly open here and you can check out the email description here. Tip number seven. I have few emails in my inbox which are flagged. These are important emails and I want to follow up those emails on the priority basis. So is there a way I can list out those flagged emails on the top of my list? Yes, you have. First of all, click on the view tab. There is an option arranged by in the arrangement section. Click on it. You will see lots of options here. There is an option flag status. Click on it and you will see all the flagged email are arranged on the top. There is another method. You can go to the view tab. In the current view section, there is an option view setting. Click on it. Click on group by. By default, this section is selected, automatically group according to arrangement. You have to uncheck it. That will allow you to manually group items according to your requirement. So the first option, group items by, click on the drop down, flag status, select it, hit OK. Again hit OK. All your emails are arranged in the category. Follow flags, completed and unflagged. So when you expand these columns, you will see three sections here. These are my three emails which are already flagged. These are two emails which are completed, which are flagged previously and rest of the emails are unflagged. 
So this is the second method. And the third method is click on the view tab. In the layout section, there is an option reading pan. Click on the reading pan. You will see three options here. Select off. That will change the interface and you will see the flag column separately. In this column, all the flagged email are tagged as flag. To list out those flagged email on the top, simply click on this flag column and you will see all the flagged emails followed by completed are arranged accordingly. Tip number eight, how to insert timestamp or current date and time in Microsoft Outlook email. For that, you have to first click on the new email. Now here, if you want to insert the timestamp of date, you can use keyboard shortcut, which is Alt Shift D that will automatically insert current date or today's date on your message body. And if you want to insert the time, your current time, all you have to do is to hit Alt Shift T that will insert the current time on your message body. Apart from that, you can also use insert tab. Now go to the text section. Here you will see date and time. When you click on this option, date and time dialog box appears. You will see some available formats here. You can choose one of them. Some consist of date and few consist of date as well as time like this. You can select this. You can also use or change the language. You can also use the calendar type and simply select the update automatically option also. By default, it, it is unchecked, but you can click here to check it, which, which will automatically update the date and time when you use this option and hit OK. That will insert the timestamp of date as well as time. Tip number nine, how to add and remove words in custom dictionary in Outlook. Let's take an example. I type my channel name, which is mail smartly. And when I hit space, you will see according to Microsoft Outlook, the spelling is not correct. So if I want to add this word to my custom dictionary, how I can do that? Simply click on the file tab. First, I will copy this word mail smartly click on the file tab, click on options from the left navigation section, Outlook options dialog box appears, select mail, which is already selected, click spelling and autocorrect. That will again take me to the editor option here. Proofing is already selected. Click custom dictionaries. When I click on it, custom dictionaries dialog box appear here on the right section, you will see edit word list. Click on it. And you will see you have to add the word here, which is my channel name, mail smartly and simply hit OK. When I hit OK, this mail smartly is added in the custom dictionary. Hit OK until all dialog boxes closes and see your word is added in the dictionary. That means from now this word is treated as correct. So I once again show you and by typing the spelling, mail smartly, see from, that means this, this, this word mail smartly is added in my custom dictionary. Tip number 10, how to block or unblock sender in Outlook. I received multiple emails on the daily basis, but few of them are useless for me and I want to block that sender. So what I have to do is to simply select the email. I want to block this email from my inbox. Simply click mouse right button and you will see an option which is junk. To block this email, I only have to simply hit this block sender button that will automatically block the sender and in future I will not receive any kind of email from this email address. So I will show you like this. The sender this, this, this has been added to the block sender list and the message has been moved to the junk folder. Click OK. Now, by mistake, you have blocked an important sender, but you want to unblock that sender. What you have to do now, click on the home tab in the delete section. There is an option which is junk. Once again, click on this drop down, go to junk email options. 
that will take me to the junk email option dialog box. Here you will see an option which is blocked sender. When I click on it, you will see the same email which is added in the block list. Select it and simply remove. So that way you have removed this email address from the block list like this. Simply hit apply and OK. Tip number 11, how to change the color of your hyperlink. If you will see, I have added a content here and I have added the hyperlink on my YouTube channel name. First, select the name, go to the format text. In the style section, you will see a small expander. Click on here. You will see the option hyperlink. Click on this drop down. You will see a few options here. Simply hit modify. When you click on this modify, modify style dialog box appears. You will see the name hyperlink is already there. The color is red. So simply select drop down, change the color according to your requirement. I like uh, say this blue and simply hit OK. You will see the color of the hyperlink is changed. Tip number 12, how to create a search folder by dynamic date range in Outlook. Simply go to the folder tab. You will see an option in the new section, which is new search folder. Click on it. New search folder dialog box appears. There are few by default options already there, but you have to create a custom search folder. So first click on this choose. You have to name it. I want the emails received in last 45 days So 45 days ago. I named the folder, click on advanced in the field. You have to select receive, or you can also type receive word from here category. You can choose one of them, or you can also choose on or before. So here type 45 days ago and simply add to list that is added in the list simply hit ok 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 and you will see your search folder with 45 days ago a separate folder is appears and all the emails received in 45 days are added here thanks for joining us on the deep dive into 12 essential outlook tips and tricks we hope this insights transform your email experience, making it smoother and more efficient. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more productivity hacks. Until next time, happy emailing.